Okay, we're going to talk about a quadratic formula. So what is a quadratic formula? When I have a quadratic equation in the form of a squared, ax squared plus bx plus c, and it's not factorable. Technically, you can use this with any, um, but this is best when it's unfactorable. Uh, we have to use the quadratic formula in order to find our solutions. So your solutions are negative b plus or minus x square root b squared minus 4 times 8 times c. All of that divided by 2 times a. So there is a song that can help you uh, remember this and it goes to the tune of a uh, pop goes the weasel. So it goes like this x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. So again, x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. So we're first going to talk about a certain part of that equation, which is called the discriminant. And the discriminant is just the part under the radical. And it's actually going to tell us how many real solutions uh, we have. So big vocab word uh, for the day, discriminant. So again, the discriminant uh, is the part under the radical. So the b squared minus 4ac. So when the discriminant is greater than zero, then we're going to have uh, two real solutions. So what does that mean if I have uh, my lovely quadratic, because again, quadratic formulas, anytime we have parabolas, quadratic formulas, I have two real solutions anytime my parabola crosses through the x-axis twice. And when I'm going to cross through that x-axis twice is when that part under the radical is greater than zero. I'm going to be taking the square root of a positive. Now, what if it's not greater than zero? What if it's less than zero? Well, if it's less than zero, then I'm taking the square root of a negative, which yes, we can do, except it's not real. We would have no real. It would be an imaginary, my lovely mathematical eyes. And what does that look like graphically? Well, that means if I have a parabola that has no real solutions, that means I have a parabola up here floating in the sky and it's not crossing the x-axis at all. And that, again, that's gonna occur when you are discriminant, the part under the radical is less than zero, negative number. Well, what if it's not greater and it's not less? What if it is equal to zero? Well, if it's equal to zero, I'd be taking the square root of zero. Square root of zero is just zero. So this would be one real. So graphically, what does that look like? Well, that means that I have a parabola that is resting on the x-axis. Okay, so it is resting on the x-axis. So it touches it only at one spot. Okay, so discriminant, discriminant is the part under the radical and it can tell us how many solutions we're gonna have, either two real, one real, or no real. So let's do some examples of these. So to determine how many solutions for this quadratic formula, uh, for quadratic equation, x squared plus 4x plus 5. Well, first we need to find our b squared minus 4ac. Well, what is b squared? b here is 4, so 4 squared. 
minus 4 times a. Well, what's a? a is uh, not here, so it's really 1. And c, c here is 5. So if we simplify, 4 squared is 16. 4 times 1 times 5 is 20. So 16 minus 20 is negative 4. Well, if the discriminant is negative 4 and negative is less than 0, that means that we have two real. No real. Negative means no real. That means I have a parabola up here floating in the sky. And you can go to Desmos and graph that uh, to be sure. You can also graph these if you don't want to find it uh, algebraically. Let's try another example. Uh, determine how many solutions, how many real solutions. Technically, all quadratics are going to have two solutions. Some of them might just be repeated, which is when we get one. So here we have a quadratic negative 4x squared plus 20x minus 25. And again, we're finding a b squared minus 4ac. So first, let's find our b. Our b here is 20 times 4 times our a. Our a here is negative 4. And C, C here is negative 25. Make sure to include the sign that's in front of it. So if we simplify, 20 squared is 400. Uh, negative times negative times negative is going to be negative. And 4 times 4 times uh, 25 is going to be 400. So 400 minus 400 is 0. If my discriminant equals 0, I'm taking square root of 0. And square root of 0 is just 0. So I have one real, which means that this quadratic is going to be resting on the x-axis. And since our a is negative, that means that um, we have a downward facing parabola resting on the x-axis. So this tells us uh, how to use the discriminant just to find how many solutions. Well, what if we actually need to find the exact solutions, the exact point that it crosses the x-axis. And that is when quadratic formula uh, comes into play. Okay, so let's do an example of that. So I need to solve x squared equals negative 4x plus 3. Well, my first step is I need to uh, set equal to zero. I need to set equal to zero. So to set equal to zero, I need to uh, add my 4x to both sides. And we need to subtract 3. Again, I like to keep things positive. So we end up with x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals zero. So again, this is simply set equal to zero. Now, our first a step should be to try to factor. So if I try to factor this, parenthesis, parenthesis, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative three, but add to four. Well, the only way to get three is prime, since three is prime, would be one and three. But if I multiply to get negative three, that means I either have a positive one and a negative three, or a negative one and a positive three. Neither one of those added together is gonna to get me a positive four. So, so this is when we have to use quadratic formula because my solutions are not nice, pretty, integers. So once I know that I can't factor, uh, we need to find what a, b, and c are. So a is always the number in front of your x squared. How many x squareds do I have? I have one. b is always the uh, number in front of your x to the first, which is four, and it's positive four, so positive four. And c is your constant negative three. So start by uh, writing out again, uh, remember the song, x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And let's plug in what we know. Uh, I know that my b value is 4. Uh, I know uh, 
b squared, that would be 4 squared minus 4 times a. My a is 1. And my c is negative 3. Divide all that by 2 times a. Again, a is 1. Now we just need to simplify it. Uh, well, first, 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. And I have negative 4 times 1 times negative 3. Negative and negative is going to be positive, and this should be 12. All divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. So 16 plus 12, 16 plus uh, 12 is going to be 28. So we gotta look under that radical. Let's see, can we simplify? So 28 is not a perfect square, but what can we multiply to get 28? Well, 28, I can rewrite as four times seven and ding, 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 square root of four is two. So that can get booted to the outside. Seven stays on the inside. So square root 28, I can simplify as two root seven over two. And notice I'm dividing by two um, on both parts and I do have a nice pretty number. That both of these can be divided by two. So negative four divided by two is negative two and two divided by two uh, cancels. So our two solutions where, the, where x uh, crosses the x or where this parabola crosses the x axis would be at the location negative two plus square root of seven and negative two minus square root of seven. So again, um, they're not gonna be nice pretty uh, decimals. Um, they're kind of messy decimals, but that's okay. Um, and if you need to uh, verify, again, you can uh, use Desmos uh, graphing calculator. So let me show you uh, how we can uh, utilize Desmos if needed. So go to graphing calculator on Desmos. And again, we can uh, type in the original equation x squared. Pull up the keyboard down here if needed. Plus 4x minus 3. And notice uh, here's our two solutions right here. Notice it is, is a um, not so pretty decimal, so 0.646. And over here we have negative option of negative 4. 0.646. So if you're unsure about um, if these answers are correct, you can actually put in um, your responses. Our response was negative 2 plus square root 7. And notice I do get that decimal, 0.646, and notice that matches exactly here. And again, if you want to check uh, the other one, we had negative 2 minus square root 7. And that matches this x-intercept down here. Okay, so that's one way to check your work, um, you know, if it helps you to graph. So again, graphing won't get you the exact square root, um, but it can give you the decimal um, used for checking. And since the discriminant was positive 28, notice um, we do have a parabola intersecting the x-axis at two places. Okay, so let's try one more just to make sure uh, that we have it down. So what if we have this quadratic 2x squared minus x equals 4 and we need to solve. Again, solve means to find the x-intercepts. So first step is always set equal to 0. Uh, so this is almost set equal to 0. We just need to subtract the 4. We have 2x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0. So set equal to 0. And again, we can try to factor. Uh, notice a is 2. We can't divide everything by 2. Um, uh, so that's when we need to use a quadratic formula. So identify a, b, 
and C. Well, A is what's in front of X squared, I have two. These are what's in front of X to the first, that's negative one, and C equals negative four. So again, our lovely quadratic formula sum, X equals negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus four AC all over two A. So X equals a negative B, our B value is two plus or minus big square root. Oh, two is actually not our B value, my bad. B is negative one. So again, we have negative one squared minus four times A, A is two. And C is negative four. All of that divided by two times a, which is two. Okay, so let's simplify. So negative and negative is positive. I have negative one squared is positive one. And negative four times two times negative four is going to get us 30, a positive 32. And two times two in the denominator is gonna get us four. Uh, so one plus 32 is gonna get us uh, 33, all that divided by four. Now let's look at under the radical, we have 33. Uh, the only way to get 33 would be three times 11 and one times 33. And none of those are perfect squares, um, so I can't simplify, so we're done. Again, if you need to check, again, we can graph this on Desmos uh, graphing calculator as a way to check our answer. So again, delete everything that's in here. Start from scratch. And again, our original problem was 2x squared minus x equals 4. So notice here I have a decimal um, x-intercept at 1.686 and I have one at negative 1.186. So let's put into our uh, Desmos the answer that we got, which was one plus square root 33. That divided by four. And notice I get positive 1.68, which is here. And again, I can copy paste and change to minus. And change to minus and notice I get negative. Negative 1.86, so it checks. Okay, so quadratic formula, again, excellent uh, to solve all quadratic equations. Um, and is especially useful, must be used uh, when a quadratic is not factorable.